Okay, here's an experiment for an air well. This is just a very simple concept. I'm just gonna try this on this day because it's very moist. There's a storm rolling in. Uh, very unusual uh, weather for today. I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's in the middle of the December and 70 degrees outside. So basically the concept is just, you know, the stuff we already know about the technology we have. I mean, it's basically just outside is warm, outside air is warm, and then the inside has to be cool. And then there has to be some things in there for the moisture to collect onto. But I'm just going to do this little test. It's completely dry in there. And uh, I'm just going to set it out here. I'm point, pointing this uh, kind of a northwest. And I just cracked it open a little bit so the air can just flow in there, the warm air. And I'm going to set some uh, cool things in there. Maybe get some uh, rocks or something that are colder. Something that's just something that is colder in there to make it cooler. And um, and then we're just going to see if we have a little bit of water in there. You could actually build a air well out of rocks. And I've shared that before. You just make a mound of rocks with a hollow center with a column in the middle. So as the wind blows through it, it'll cool down and collect on the rocks. So essentially you could kind of think of this as the same thing. You could probably put some uh, cool rocks in there or something. And as the air flows through there, just collect on the rocks. I can't really use these rocks because they've been out in the sun. I need to, I wish I thought ahead and put those in the freezer or something and then put it inside. I'll find something. Alright, so I have some frozen chicken I'm going to put in there. I put it in a bag so it just makes sure it's not melting and then creating moisture. But So I'm just showing the basic concept of this. And I know it's not anything new. I mean, we've seen this before. Maybe your fridge has moisture buildup and it just runs down. Even your freezer. Sometimes when there's extra moisture, you get some frost that builds up so this is this concept isn't new but um, I just want to show how basic this is and once once we uh, get the basic concept then we're gonna use other methods in doing this and just making it really uh, useful okay it's only been about 40 minutes but I'm just gonna open it and just show the concept see there's some already some water that's a uh, condensed on this bag because it's cold and you see this concept everywhere you see it in your air conditioning or car you see it dripping water you see it uh, in your house air conditioning um, dehumidifiers do the same thing so now we just think about the materials that are better and a better way of doing it a fit more efficient way um, I mentioned before of like cutting a hole for a like a fan to blow through uh, it's some warmer air and it's kind of force the air through it and so you could use this inside your house if you wanted and then there's uh, those devices that are called the the Peltier device and people are making this very thing this concept on their own with that Peltier device and that basically you could put a, a two heat sinks that are together on each side and then Put that peltier device in the middle well on one side it's going to be warmer because it draws the cold out of the other one and that peltier device in the center is is going to cause that effect even more it's going to intensify that so you can see the device right in the middle of a one of those uh heat powered fans on a on a stove on a wood burning stove if you look in the middle of that device you'll see that peltier device and that also has the capability of creating electricity if you put heat to it. So that, that Peltier device can, can be utilized in a concept like this if you don't have the right type of weather, weather that's going to create this condition. You could uh, put a computer fan on one side 
have a, uh, a Peltier device with a couple heat sinks on each side and then have have the warm air flow in one chamber and then flow out as right through the the other side of the Peltier device and people have been making those and it condenses water and it drips right down and so that's eventually what I'm going to build but I at least want to capture this concept so once you once you get the concept you can kind of take off on your own the potential is just unreal so especially in these times when we're looking for other sources of water even if this is not the most efficient way of doing it at least it'll buy us some more time before you have to fill up with water I mean it's any little bit helps so in connection with the air well there are, are other concepts like uh, some people developing a way to it's almost like putting a netting netting up and you can see these up in other I think Africa or something like that but they actually put up these like netting towers and it basically catches the water and it's almost like that dehumidifier concept as well but it's just kind of catching it and it, it uh, saturates and it just drips down and I was thinking um, you know in colder climates that, that wouldn't be as useful um, but people are thinking of stuff that are pretty awesome um, so eventually both you know, all of my living spaces are going to be completely off-grid self-sufficient with everything in Iowa there's uh, a great amount of humidity all the time um, the only thing it just gets really cold in the winter so that's why I was thinking of an in interior concept of the um, the, the air well so right up here that's where I was talking about like right right where my uh, holding tank is for my fresh water I'll just have one of those uh, just a, a small air well within my house and they'll there'll be enough moisture to trickle into there and if anything any little bit of that water will help me and and this will be the concept just think about that just think about a constant source of water out of the air trickle supplying your fresh water all the time and then a gravity fi gravity fed system that just flows down you could shower you could use the sink you ever drinking water and that drainage just goes out into a drain pit it's such a simple concept but you just you could just imagine that idea just with the technology that we already know works and exists this will this will work that system and if you haven't seen that video about my hot water heater I just made it out of a chemical sprayer and a crock pot and it's warming up right now so I could shower but uh, it doesn't take much I could use a battery if I wanted car battery just to warm it up for however much I need it just to get the water uh, comfortable enough and then that's it so that is a very very simple concept there I could even get that water hot enough it'll be scolding so I wish I could crank out these experiments and these videos a lot faster uh, but I at least wanted to share concepts of these things and then put links down below of like you know ideas and uh, direction that you can go and uh, these I mean you could think of ideas on your own whatever inspires you and uh, this air well thing I think is one of the the, the next thing I'm really getting passionate about we have all this technology already it's just realizing the potential of it and we have to make it on our own I've seen a couple examples of companies making stuff like this but it's like four thousand dollars and it's that's ridiculous in my mind because if if I could make it with zero dollars that a cooler with a cooler that somebody gave me then it's then we could re we can creatively make things that will cost next to nothing just stuff that's laying around and we could become independent and these are the type of miracles I think in these uh, days that we're living in with God's inspiration uh, these are the type of miracles that can happen that will 
that we can become free. We don't have to rely on uh, saving up a whole ton of money for all this really expensive equipment and technology that some other company makes. We can make this stuff on our own and we can figure it out and uh, we're not going to need anybody else's help. So, uh, but the good Lord above, he'll provide a way. And I see a break in the clouds. It feels like a nice inspirational moment. That's the little silver lining in the, you know, these dark days, they're, they're pretty tough. I mean, it's, it's like a spiritual darkness, even, even on a bright sunny day, it's, it feels like a mist of darkness. So this is symbolic of with our with our faith in God we we can accomplish miracles just with these little things and we're going to have liberty God bless